Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate all of you guys on my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a really cool vintage amplifier and I'm gonna play it today through the 59 Strat and do some clean overdrive tones. But first I wanna to talk to you guys about it. So I was searching Craigslist a few weeks back and I'm always on there and Facebook Marketplace too. You can find some really good deals. But And so I came across an ad for a uh, 68 Super Reverb and it kinda of caught my eye because 68 is a unique year, pretty much a one year thing uh, it's called a drip edge model and that went across the whole fender line but a drip edge if you look at the the front of the amplifier around the grill cloth you'll see the sort of aluminum uh, trim that goes around and right around 1968 is, is when they were doing this so kind of one year option uh, but what is also cool about that is that um, it's known for also having blackface internals which would mean the black face circuit mostly the uh, blue ajax capacitors after that of course fender started uh, modifying the circuit a little bit here or there and changing the capacitors and uh, then adding a master volume and so on and so forth so as the 70s go forward the fender line of amps just becomes less and less desirable so essentially with a 68 or so super reverb you can basically get a black face fender with a silver face grill. And that definitely interested me. So I ended up making a deal with the owner and found out this amp is a bit cooler than I thought because it's pretty much 100% original. It's basically a time capsule traveling back to 1968 and hearing what uh, an original Super Reverb would sound like out of the factory. Now, obviously that's not 100% perfect because I have different voltage coming out of my wall. The speakers, the cones are are pretty old, and, and actually you can hear them in the video. They're, they're kind of rattling on the low end. And of course, you know, some of the, the values inside are, are different. But at the end of the day, this is about as close as you can get to an original Super Reverb. So I thought that could be really cool to demo on this channel. I have my uh, 64 Super Reverb and my 59 Bassman, and those amps have been maintained. So, you know, updated parts and whatnot. And that does ultimately change the sounds. But taking a look at the amp, you guys can see from the front, the grill cloth is a little bit different than the earlier black bass amps. Um, it's not as brown in color. It has this uh, kind of blue and silver streaks going through. Of course, you have the aluminum or whatever material uh, drip edge that goes around. Also, the silver faceplate with the uh, different Super Reverb logo. Other than that, the cabinet is exactly the same. Uh, I believe these speakers are the same that were used in a lot of blackface amps. And that's pretty interesting too because these are the original Alnico speakers and the original cones as well, which they are barely holding on. Uh, I was recording this video and hoping that I did not blow them. Luckily they, they survived, but uh, it's very rare that you find an original set of speakers with, with the original cones because they just absolutely disintegrate. But you guys will also see here, the original foot switch was included with the amp, which is usually always gone. So that was super cool to find. And then you have the original reverb tank down in the bottom, which I had to take out. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen over the weekend that uh, the reverb was not working when I bought the amp. I ended up having to pull the uh, reverb tank out and I found that there was one wire that had come loose. I soldered the, that wire back in place and the reverb worked perfectly. So I haven't opened the amp up, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on inside. He did tell me that the tube chart shows AB763, but inside, it's more of a mix of silver face and black face. So I'm sure someone in the comment section can let everyone know exactly what the differences might be there. I'm not an expert on that. I know the differences in the looks of the capacitors, but beyond that, 
Uh, I'm pretty much a novice. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this one does have a few of the blue capacitors, which are desirable, and then a mix of the brown later 70s capacitors in there too. But all in all, I think this is a really fantastic amp and, and I've been surprised with the way it sounds. Uh, if you guys wanna go ahead and, and take a listen, I'm gonna play it today through my 59 Stratocaster, just straight in, the volume's at about four and that's about as high as I can push it. It feels like it's about to blow. And then I will also kick on the Tube Screamer to give it a little boost, but not too much. And we'll see how that sounds. Then if you wanna stick around to the end, I'll give you guys my opinion on the sound. And if you would, please leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys watch my channel, you've probably heard my 64 Super Reverb 100 times. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how you guys feel this one sounds against the blackface. And as always, if you guys wanna like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you can do, it truly means the world to me and I thank you guys in every video. All right, so let's check out the tones and stick around if you wanna hear my opinion. <laughs>
thank you so much for watching and please leave a comment on your opinion of the amp. Um, I gotta say, when I got home, plugged this thing in and just played direct in, I was pretty much blown away. My Blackface Super Reverb is a little bit harsh, very clean, very bright. You turn it up, to seven or eight, and that's kind of the sweet spot for it, but any, anything below that, pretty dry. Now this amp, I had it at about three or four, and to me, it's just a lot richer and fuller sounding, and honestly, I think it's probably due to the speakers. They are definitely low-powered speakers, original cones, and I believe they are Alnico magnets, so uh, that's complete opposite of the speakers in my other Super Reverb. I think that is a big part in the sound, and uh, it almost gives it a, a similar vibe to the basement, where it's just a little bit richer, a little bit fuller, and it, it tends to break up at lower volume. Even at, at about four, uh, where I had it have it currently, I really am trying not to blow the speakers, and I just wanted to get through this video, honestly. Even at about four, there's a little bit more give in the amp, which I kind of like that, honestly, um, in contrast to my, my Blackface one. My experience with Silverface amps has not been good, and that's why I have never really opted to purchase one. But uh, knowing that this amp was more of a combination between the Black and Silverface, I thought I would give it a try. To me, this amp is far from stale. It's far from harsh. I don't know if that has anything to do with maybe the capacitors inside, because I know it's very close to the Blackface schematic, but uh, uh, the, the owner told me that it has more of the brown capacitors than blue. So the tube combination in this amp is pretty scattered. I, I haven't really looked into that. With that being said, I don't know if anyone would be interested maybe in taking a look inside and breaking it down a little bit and seeing what's been done to the amp. If anything, we could also take a look and see if there's any old power tubes, preamp tubes. That might be cool. If you guys would be into that, please leave me a comment. So I think that's all that I've got for today. I appreciate all you guys for listening. And stay tuned because I got uh, another guitar in and maybe another amp coming as well. And then hopefully some live video footage coming your way soon. I'm going to play a few licks in the outro. Take it easy, all right? Peace. <laughs>